Have you ever thought that Batman's son would try to kill him? Well, let me tell you that you are in for a massive surprise. During an investigation of missing children, Damian Wayne, the true son of Batman, now the new Robin, has taken the Batmobile out to an abandoned toy factory. There he finds Anton Schott, introduced to us as the Dollmaker, who is responsible for the children's disappearances and has also transformed some of them into mutilated dolls. Damien fights the Dollmaker in order to save Cage's children. The Batman arrives to aid Damien in the resulting battle. With Damien chasing after Shot, Batman knocks out the dolls with gas and frees the remaining children. Damien chooses to spare Shot on remembering the Batman's code, justice, not vengeance. Soon after, an owl-masked assassin comes down and kills the Dollmaker, telling Damien to never doubt his instincts. The assassin leaves Damien and the shot's body behind, leading Batman to accuse Damien of murdering the Dollmaker when he arrives. Damien insists that he spared him out of respect for Batman and storms off in anger. After inspecting the body further, Batman discovers an owl feather. The next night at Wayne Manor, Bruce has dinner with Samantha Vanover, a wealthy woman whose family, like the Waynes, have had positions of influence and power in Gotham for years. After dinner, Bruce shows Samantha his plans to make Gotham City a better place. At that moment, Bruce notices Damien who has been sleeping on the couch there. Samantha then meets Damien, and after she leaves, Bruce tries to connect with Damien by watching a movie with him. However, Damien later tries to sneak out of the mansion, but it's put off by Bruce's security systems. Damien voices his frustration of being kept prisoner as both Damien and Robin saying that Bruce never trusts him. Bruce tells Damien he needs to earn his trust, with Damien telling him it should work both ways. Bruce goes out as Batman leaving Damien with Nightwing to look after him as he investigates the owl feather he found. His investigation leads him to the Gotham Museum of Natural History's Hall of Owls. Bruce is reminded of a story of the Court of Owls which his father told him long ago a secret society of wealthy citizens who ruled Gotham from the shadows and killed any who opposed them by sending agents called Talons. On the night his parents were murdered, Bruce saw an owl clutching a bat and flying away from the scene. He became convinced that the Court of Owls was to blame, but after finding no evidence of their existence from a high society club, Bruce dismissed the legend as a boy crying with frustration for not having answers. In the present, Batman is attacked by three owl mass assailants, all seemingly inhuman and impervious to harm. Although he manages to destroy one with explosives, the other two nearly kill Batman before they suddenly liquefy into black ooze, and Batman sends out a distress beacon to the Batcave before losing consciousness. Damien, having escaped Grayson in the mansion, stops a mugging and is again approached by the assassin he met, who introduces himself as Talon. Talon encourages Damien's choice of punishing criminals and offers Damien a chance to join him. Damien is unsure of this decision and returns home where a heavily bruised Bruce Wayne is waiting. Bruce is disappointed about Damien sneaking out again. Bruce warns Damien that he will be sent away to military school in Switzerland unless he learns to discipline himself and takes away his weapon. However, the next night Damien sneaks out again. On the way to a date with Samantha, Bruce is attacked by white owl masked people who drugs him and brought him before the Court of Owls, who offer Bruce Wayne a chance to join them as a member of one of Gotham's wealthiest families. However, Bruce asks for more time to decide with the court returning him home safely. It is revealed that Talon is working for the Court of Owls, who are secretly raising an army of the Inhuman Warriors, also known as Talons, who are awakening from the dead through a process similar to the Lazarus Pit. Talon will soon be forced by the court to undergo the process himself and become one of these monsters and the general of this army, but not before bringing Damien over as his replacement. Damien, having contacted Talon, has gone out on missions with him to take out some criminals. Damien has constantly hesitated to kill due to Batman's code, which frustrates Talon. Sensing how Damien looks up to Batman as a father, Talon tells his story about how he and his own father were thieves. Talon looked up to his father and wanted to be just like him, but couldn't, and was always punished for it. One night, Talon gave his father up to the police, who shot him, and afterwards, Talon was recruited by the Court of Owls. You've done quite Batman enough. Batman shows up, but is blocked by Damien from capturing Talon. Batman tries to convince Damien that Talon and the Court of Owls are using Damien to get to him, but Damien believes Batman is trying to hold him back from his potential. 
A confrontation breaks out between father and son, with Damien almost killing Batman before leaving. Talon is revealed to be in a relationship with Samantha, who's secretly the Grandmaster of the Court of Owls. Despite their social class divide, Samantha wants to spare Talon from the ritual and have him stand by her side, as they plan to destroy Batman along with Robin. Batman sneaks into the Court of Owls through the sewers. To his dismay, it has been flooded with a psychotropic gas by the court. This causes Batman to hallucinate the night his parents were murdered when he finally reaches their headquarters. There he sees the shooter is revealed to be not Joe Chill, but a grown-up Damien as Batman. Bruce realizes that Batman will cause Damien the same rage and hatred that the Court of Owls cause and has the potential to turn him into a villain that will bring destruction on the world. He asks the grown-up Damien for forgiveness, who reverts to the child Damien. Bruce awakens from his hallucination, finding himself back at the Batcave with Alfred Pennyworth and Grayson. I have to find him. He's my son. Meanwhile, Talon introduces Damien to the Court of Owls, but when Damien reveals himself to the Grandmaster, Samantha realizes that if Robin is Bruce's son, then Bruce must be Batman. Ordering Talon to kill Damien, Talon instead turns against the Court of Owls, murdering every member, including Samantha at last. Now in control of the court's army of talents, he leaves Damien behind at the court, offering him another chance to join him once he has killed Batman. Talon and his undead soldiers attack the mansion, breaking into the Batcave as Batman, Grayson, and Alfred fight them off. Now I'm only gonna say this once, you sons of bitches. Batman utilizes a mechanized battle armor in the fight, while Nightwing is wounded and crippled by the Talon's attacks. <laughs> Alfred activates a coolant system that freezes all the Talons in the cave solid. Batman and Talon ultimately face off, with Talon gaining the upper hand and wounding Batman before Damien, who escaped from the court, enters and fights Talon to protect Batman. Damien eventually defeats Talon, holding a side to his throat. After telling Damien one last time never to doubt his instincts, Talon commits suicide by forcing Damien's side through his neck, leaving Damien stunned and confused. Bruce tries to welcome Damien home, but Damien refuses, claiming he needs to sort out who he is. Damien leaves for a monastery in the Himalayas that Bruce told him of when he was leaving, and Bruce Wayne believes he will come back when Sometimes, he, Alfred, he is up for the task. You have to have a little faith. The moral of the story is that you should always follow your heart, passion, and be true to yourself no matter what others think or force you to do. Robin being the true son of Batman does exactly that, and this makes Batman proud to call him as his son. Thank you for watching Second Look. Like, comment, and share for more videos. Have a nice day.